but there's a confluence of a variety of things that are happening out there in the marketplace. Uh, hard drive storage space is ridiculously cheap. I bought a terabyte drive for around 200 bucks the other day. Um, and uh, you know, bandwidth spe speeds are, are continuing to increase, and I know you're trying to do that here. Um, and uh, there are more ways to find and download content, and HD is coming out uh, with downloadable media. Uh, Discovery Channel and some other folks are, are allowing you to, to watch HD content. ABC, for example, does as well. So what you'll see over time is that instead of it all being web-based, um, they'll all allow a TiVo-like experience, which is essentially you just click to watch this stuff later, you download it, um, and a lot of the stuff is going to be ad-supported. Uh, most people would prefer to see ad-supported content than pay for it. And so if you want to want to watch an HD ABC television show, um, download it, maybe it takes an hour, maybe it takes a half an hour, depending on your connection speed, and then watch it at, at your own leisure, um, and then have ads with that, as opposed to watch it in a web browser, which can go up and down if it's streaming, right? Um, and so we'll start to see more and more of that type of interaction happening going forward. Televisions are having hard drives put in them and network connections put in them. Uh, boxes like the Apple TV product are coming out. Um, and, and more and more sites are offering this content for download as well as just views within the web page itself. So it makes sense that A, people want to track those views, because uh, why else would they do it? They'd be losing money otherwise. Um, and then B, potentially serve advertising with it in order to make that bandwidth, um, makes, bandwidth cost essentially make sense for them. So we'll start to see that. We'll start to see more and more devices that play with that type of content. And then interestingly, I think the iPhone is a, is a, is a sort of watershed device in, in a few different respects. So with mobile, uh, people on average 10 to 15% in the American market use their media and, and, and online capabilities of their phones that they've had for two, three years now. Uh, with the iPhone, it's around 80 to 90%. And so that proves the fact that it's not the people, it's the device, it's the software, it's the design, right? And so now that the iPhone is out, two to three years from now, all phones will have that type of hard drive storage space, that type of functionality, hopefully better connectivity than the iPhone has, to be honest, uh, with 3G and better networks as they come out. And um, so these devices going forward will also be Wi-Fi connected. Wi-Fi costs about 50 cents to add to any device. So your boombox, your whatever, will be Wi-Fi connected or better. Um, and store, because again, hard drive storage space is really cheap, all of these devices will have the ability to play downloaded media. They won't necessarily be great at streaming it live because of the nature of these devices, but they'll all be great at downloading it and playing it later. And so a few years from now, we're going to see a lot more downloaded media out there because more and more devices will support it, more and more people will have the hard drive space to be able to play it, and ultimately it's a better experience.